is not a spring chicken. The big news today is the announcement of the iPad. I know how often does what a new technology development qualify to be right at the forefront, but it is the new iPad. New, everything's better, looks better, greater. Wait a minute. Now the iPad can do what some of the other tablets can do. Oh, wait a minute, but I thought it was supposed to be better. Everybody has one. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. So the latest iPad, well, it still has an iPad price. But it does things that Androids have been doing since Androids were first developed, though. What's that? Uh, you can act, it's got a video camera. Ooh. A video camera, and it does, it does the Microsoft, it has a, uh, diction software in it so you can dictate to the computer now which you can do on any Microsoft platform and but it still does the same thing it still doesn't do the things that people want it to do which like flash and other things so and what's the big news oh it's now almost it's now caught up to the regular tablets yeah, it's caught they no, but no they since it doesn't do what that they don't like Adobe it's still behind enough and it still doesn't do communication which is what it was designed to do but it has an optional 4g internet connection yeah but you can't talk on the thing oh yeah, no. Remember, it was always meant to be a replacement for the iPhone. You can talk over any Android they've ever built. Actually, they forgot about that. It was always yeah. supposed to be a phone. Yeah. And Obama to see criminal charges against oil spectators. I know. Once again, okay, the market was going oop like that until he said, we're reorganizing a task force of organized crime to go after the oil speculators. And then the market, guess what the market did? It fell right. by 50 points immediately after Obama once again. We're going to take those people on. The problem is they don't work in the United States. They work in another country. And the, the French don't particularly like us messing around in their business. The Germans don't like us doing it. So it's a, you know, also gas went up five cents a gallon more with Obama making a threat this morning. It did, and oh, Peyton yeah. Manning is released. Oh yeah, Peyton Manning, okay. They're, they said that while well, they were very cordial today, you know, that Peyton Manning has been, you know, the backbone of the company, he's done this, he's done that. Privately, they said the SOB had an extra surgery and never told anybody about it, and he signed a contract knowing he couldn't play football. Basically, if he, if they didn't want to cause a bigger stink, they just, they attend, he basically is called grand theft. He, he, he didn't tell people he had a surgery, told, didn't tell people that he couldn't play last season, and signed a contract where he, he skinned the people for nearly $30 million. That's theft, folks. And you want to, and they said there's no guarantee. They said, okay, he has his arm back. He can now throw a football downfield. They said he can't hit anything, but he can throw a football down the field, which he could probably do even with his neck when a cast he could do it because it's, it's mechanical, but he can't take a hit. I, had a, I know a football player for Kansas City had the same injury. One of the great young running backs of all time, he got hit. They brought it, you know, he, he set out a season, did the same thing Manning did, came back, and in the first game, he got hit and then walked off the field and never came back because he'd been told that another solid hit could paralyze him. So Manning probably been told the same thing. That would be my guess. He's had three surgeries on his neck, folks. He's, he's lucky he's still walking. That's right. And home sells up naturally. It's, it's the case. They weren't, all, they weren't up on Monday or Tuesday this week, so it's Wednesday. But by Friday, they will readjust downwards again. They always do. And in an in interview, Obama says he's not bluffing on Iran. Everybody in the world knows he's bluffing on Iran. This is a guy that basically, okay, uh, okay, last night the Democrats did everything but say, I, I, President of the United States, please bend over. We want to kiss your rear end because you are the greatest foreign policy president. You basically, you know, stood up for Israel. You did this, you did that. The only problem is he didn't stand up for Israel on his, on his press conference. He basically, well, they're going to have to work. They're going to have to wait and let sanctions. They're going to have to do this. They're going to have to do that, which was followed by Netanyahu saying again, we don't do what the President of the United States orders us to do, which basically means there are bad relations between. But Juan Williams said, I didn't hear any of that being said. And then they said, uh, one of the people that's basically a Democrat said, he said, basically, you know what he said to the, during the press conference? He said, F you. 
to Israel on a press conference. And, okay. and Juan Williams didn't hear him saying, well, they're going to have to be patient. If they want American support, they're going to have to learn to wait. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's, that's telling drop dead to Israel. And meaning-based therapy may aid terminal patients. This one is, you know, but a, a, first of all, it won't be covered under Obamacare. <laughs> I'm not covered under Obamacare. Mm -hmm. uh, I hate to tell you this, there's other people in this room that are not going to be covered under Obamacare in another year. Because what happens is when you become senior citizens, Obama doesn't give a rat's ass. And it, regulators seek input on cell phone interruptions. Uh, yeah, because what happens is the cell phone companies are basically killing your cell phones if they think you're using too much bandwidth. Oh, would they do something like that? Yeah, they can, okay, they can turn your dang cell phone off because we've seen it happen. You know, all the men, what happened? My cell phone's not on. They can turn it off by remote control. Uh-huh. Yeah. They're sending out the signal. Yeah. And Yelp soars in market debut on Facebook optimism. Okay. Well, folks, today is Wednesday. What did not happen on Wednesday? Mm -hmm. Facebook didn't do the IPO. And the Facebook IPO, which started out at, at 20 million and kept going backwards, is now at two and a half billion. They, no one want, they, they don't think that, um, Yelp basically is, is a service that's got all kinds of legal problems. So why would any, okay, they did the same thing. They keep investing in companies they know that are losing money. I mean, Pandora just declared a god awful loss this morning. Really? Yep. And Syrian forces pound Homs, tanks deploy in East. I know. What in the world? I mean, I would have thought, okay, you can tell how lack of seriousness the Syrian government has about handling the problem because they've got the second largest military in the Middle East, and all they do is hit the city every day with artillery fire, which means with that military, they could take the city in a day. And they're not. They're just. Uh, it's just like they're trying to give people. You know, the, we're, we're serious about stopping the insurrection, but we're not serious anywhere else but the one city. And China boosts defense spending by 11.2 percent. And guess how much Obama is getting ready to cut defense spending by 50 percent. Are you serious? Yeah. And Putin set to reclaim the Kremlin in Russian vote. The problem was, he decided he was only going to win by 60 percent. They, they originally was 64 percent, then Yeltsin said, I think we have irregularities, so Putin basically threw 4 percent of the vote for him out. Isn't that great of him? They mm -hmm. said that he didn't win the election, so throwing 4 percent of the vote out because of irregularities was a farce. In Greece, redundancy tips factory worker over the edge. Well, yeah, you know, because what happens is, in a socialized country, they hire a zillion people to do the same job, and what happened now is that they're having to let those people go because they can't, um, uh, I think, 109, well, here's the thing is, if you have 119,000 people doing jobs that other people are doing and you release them and you have no unemployment system in the country, what do you do with 119,000 people that generally mm -hmm. occupy 119,000 homes? Mm -hmm. yeah. And why much of North America skipped winter this year? Because it happens. It's, it's, it's not global warming. Uh, it, it, it just it happens. It, but it, it parts of North America skipped. I mean, we, got, we were out last night. It was it was snowing. In it, it. it was arctically cold. It was arctic front. I mean, we actually had snowflakes hitting us coming back from the worst god awful movie you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, I've seen worse. Well, not in 3D, you haven't. <laughs> I, I, I actually, uh, maybe I shouldn't say I've seen worse. I fell asleep. I have been in worse movies, but I've never been in a... I, folks, I was in Gorilla at large. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the worst movies ever made. But it was shot with real 3D. Missing Michigan family, coupled with four-month-old baby, disappears. Well, you know, I mean... Uh, families just don't up and disappear. They only disappear if they get killed or basically they're f f hiding from somebody. And knife-wielding kite surfer defeats red sea sharks. Now the question is, why was the kite surfer carrying a knife? You generally don't carry knife. Well, you don't knives. usually carry a knife with, when you're kite surfing, do you? I, I would think that that's sort of a fraud. I think that may have been sort of one of these uh, YouTube things that didn't really happen. And Apple's next iPad may be a 4G game changer. <gasps> it Ooh. has the capabilities of 4G. Uh, how long has ours been doing 4G? 
Um, since you got it. Since I got it. <laughs> yeah. Um, mo yeah. So therefore, Apple is in a catch-up mode. And um, uh, mo they, okay, I heard today Apple has a negative buy on its companies because if this is the best that they can do without Steve Jobs, they're in big trouble. And a Monty bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Well, there's an awful lot of people out there doing jobs they shouldn't be doing, and unfortunately, the majority of them are politicians. Oh, <laughs>